Clinton nation is more than a demographic or an attitude. To get beyond the cliches, USA Today Network interviewed scores of Hillary Clinton's supporters. Many supporters of the candidate who LLB America's first female presidential nominee don't care that she s a woman any more than they care her opponent s a man. They re with her because they find Hillary Clinton so qualified and Donald Trump so terrifying. I am excited I want Hillary to get elected. But kind of scared, too, comma, says Jennifer Gibbons, 36, a Springfield, Mo, social worker. She s afraid Trump would take us back to the dark ages. The election can go either way, worries Kineshaw Brown, a 35 year old Montgomery, Alabama, administrative assistant. We can have a candidate who will continue President Obama's legacy. And we have someone who could tear everything we've built in the last eight years down. But Clinton Nation is more than a set of hopes and fears. The USA Today Network interviewed scores of Clinton supporters, some in every state, for a more nuanced understanding of its denizens and their motives. They're excited by Clinton's historic quest what Michael Bouchard, 38, an Atlanta real estate agent, called a defining moment. Almost a hundred years after women got the right to vote. Many, however, regard Clinton as more than a gender pioneer and more than the better candidate this year. She has probably the most experience of any man or woman ever nominated, declared Rod Washington, 40, a Monroe, law, public relations man. She cooled and be more qualified, said Jean Cumby, 54, of Asheville, North Carolina, unless she deep been to the moon. To sing her praises, supporters recite her resume Yale Law School, children's advocate. First Lady, U.S. Senator, 2008 Presidential Candidate, Secretary of State. Hillary has been there, done that, and wrote the book on a lot of things, said the Reverend Dennis Ross Sr., 56, a Memphis pastor. A key line on that resume, trailblazer. She's been bucking against that glass ceiling her whole career, said Heather Halverson, 45, a Valley City, North Dakota, collections agent. Many supporters, especially women, talked about how Clinton has been tested demonized throughout her career, in the words of Frances Williams, a Las Cruces, N. M., employment mediator. If she can stand up to what she has stood up to, the Benghazi hearings and the email stuff, she can stand up to anybody, because she has proven she has the balls to do it. It helps explain why Clinton leads Trump among women by 24 percentage points in a recent Pew poll the widest gender gap on record. Clinton Nation is a long way from Trump Nation, which the USA Today Network profiled last week. It does not share Trump Nation as nostalgia for America as it was. Annette Jacobs, 41, of Mesa, Arizona, likes Clinton because she LL make sure that America stays the way it is. Tony Gobbin, 47, of Evansville, Indiana, agreed, this country is great as it is. It doesn't need to be made great again. About three-quarters of Trump supporters believe life in America has gotten worse, compared to a fifth of Clinton voters, according a Pew survey. In USA Today Network interviews, the word again was used far more frequently by Trump's voters than Clinton's. Many Trump voters have gotten to know him only over the past year. Many of Clinton's feel they've known her all along, 